Okay. So if you want to put the headset on for me, please. Okay, we're going to do this one. Am I going to look goofy like those other people that do these VR demos? Pat, you'll look fantastic. Okay, I, that's a promise, right? Yep. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so in front of you, you should see the controller right okay. now. Okay, got it. So wow, Pat, look at all that great hardware. This is good looking <laughs> stuff. A good, clean data center. I like this design. So you, you are actually in a virtual representation of our on-premises data center right now. In fact, these hosts here were built on top of the vSphere 6.5 API and pulled in here and represented in a virtual data center. All right. So if I can get you to move over to that third host, please. Okay. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, thank you. All right. And if you, look, if you look down, what kind of server is that, Pat? Well, of course, it's good Dell hardware. Of okay. course. Yeah. <laughs> And as you can see on the front of the server, where this is currently esxo3.mydomain.local. Yep. And on top of there, you can see a virtual representation of the, of the VMs available to you on this host. Okay. So why don't you pick up one of these virtual machines? In fact, pick up Project 13 for me, please. Okay. Okay. So instantly, we can see more information about these virtual machines. We can see the number of CPUs, the fact that it's a v VMware built on OS. The memory is one gig. We have four gig of storage and it's attached to the VM network and it's powered on. Now, it just so happens that this VM has come to the end of its project and I've got a change request in front of me signed by yourself, Pat, oh, to get okay. rid of it. Okay. So if you look on the right-hand side, so oh, pick, oh. It, yeah, pick yeah, it back up, it up. Okay. look over to the right-hand side and look down a little bit. You can see we have a trash can. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Why don't you drop it in there for me? Thank you. You've just deleted a virtual machine. Oh, that was fun. What's to that? All right. Absolutely. <laughs> So, so now, if you want to move over to your host on your left, please, the second host in okay. there. Okay, here okay. we go. ESXO2, good. So again, we can see the virtual machines. And if you want to pick up on-prem VM01 for me, please. Okay, great. So we can again see this is a Photon virtual machine. It's powered on. And if you look slightly to the right for me, we can see this is a database server. So. What we're going to do is actually migrate this live running virtual machine and all of the applications into VMware Cloud on AWS. So if you can turn around to your left for me, please. Okay. Ah, oh, the cloud. The cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, we have a virtual representation of VMware Cloud on AWS. Now, I'm sure everybody in this audience before has done a vMotion. You've right-clicked on a virtual machine. You've moved that virtual machine to a new host or a new cluster or even a new virtual center. What we're going to do now is migrate that live. But if you were in virtual reality and you wanted to be motion a VM, how would you do that? Throw it. Throw it? Great okay. idea. Come on, Pat. Let's throw it. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where'd it go? <laughs> it, it, it just live migrated up into VMware Cloud on really? AWS. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. So why don't we actually go and see it up there? So okay. why don't you teleport towards the cloud for okay. me? Like right there? Pat, oh, you are now in the cloud. Uh, I've made it to the cloud. I've always wanted to be here. This is good. So now if you can turn back around for me, please. Thank you. Oh, you right. can see if okay. you look up, we are indeed in VMware Cloud on AWS. Yeah. We are attached to the master demo software-defined data center, and we can see the amount of CPU, memory, and storage that we're currently using in here. Now, I don't like red. Red always means something bad. So, you know, something's I, bad yeah, there. We got exactly. memory problems. Yeah. So we'll, we'll come to the, back to that in a little while. But yeah. first of all, can I get you to teleport yourself over to that second host for me? Okay. This one here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Is there anything you recognize on this host? Hey, there's on-prem. I just migrated you, baby. You're looking good. That's right. So can you pick that one up for me again? Sure. So you can see that this virtual machine is still powered on. Indeed, we did live migrate this over to VMware Cloud on AWS with no downtime to the operating system or the applications being used by the users. So if you can put that back down on the host for me, please. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Be okay, tidy. There we Come go. On. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Now, if you can turn around towards me, please, and then okay. teleport again towards the back. Okay. Let's see if we can do something about that memory. Ooh, what are you doing here? <laughs> so, this is Brian. Brian Hi, is Brian. here to help you. He looks a little freaky. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brian is actually a representation, an avatar built on top of the great VMware 
uh, global support services that you can get live within VMware Cloud on AWS. Oh, if he's our GSS guy, he's not freaky, he's good, okay. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. fact, you can ask him questions and he'll be able to directly respond straight to you. So let's move around a little bit more to your right, please. Okay. And now we can see some operations that we can actually do inside of our data center. So what I want you to do is look slightly up to the right for me, please. Okay. And then reach forward and enable Elastic DRS. Okay. So look to the right. As you can see, the nature of uh, the Elastic infrastructure from Amazon allows us to automatically provision a brand new host and enable us to kick in DRS and live migrate these virtual machines over to the no new host, making the most of the resources inside of the data center and making sure that all our applications are running at the best performance possible. Very cool. So we've just live uh, added the host and migrated in real time using DRS. That's very neat. Absolutely. And if you look back at that memory for me. Oh, good. We're fixed. We're all back to green. Okay, we're perfect. all good. So at this point, I'm afraid I'm going to have to bring you back to real life. Oh, man, I hate it. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to take the controller from okay. you. Okay. Let's put the headset on the floor. Wow, so I've been to the cloud and back here, but, <laughs> but uh, Alan, I got to go to the cloud. Yeah. W what about everybody else at VMworld? Yeah, the great thing about this is, you know, we managed to put this together in a day and a half in a yeah. hackathon. Uh, what we're actually going to do is release this in an open source GitHub repository so that you can try this out and also contribute back to it as well, help us work on this project. Very good. So everybody can go to the Absolutely. virtual cloud. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Yeah, 